Hello, 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 ladies. It is Anita with Better Love Movement. And I wanted to talk a little bit about the latest Cam Newton situation on YouTube. Cam Newton has a podcast and a YouTube channel now, and he has been doing a segment called Funky Friday. And he had Brittany Renner on his show uh, two weeks back to back. But I want to talk a little bit about this first interview he did with Brittany, where he talked about his reasons for not marrying his first children's mother, Kia Proctor. They have four children together, back to back to back to back. And um, Cam spoke a little bit about why he was not ready to be a husband, although he's ready to be a father of many, 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 many children. Um, he and Brittany talked a little bit about that. So take a listen to this clip and I will be right back. So in my mind, if I'm a viewer and I'm like, okay, Kim has a lot of kids, where's the ring? Like, mm. why didn't you marry her? Like, I'm, con I'm confused why... Because as a baby mama myself, I'm yeah. just, let me just put myself in that shoes. It's like, why would you give me a forever commitment, which is a child, versus like, where's my ring? Um, honestly, that's a great question. And it's kind of moving me because, ooh, I just got hot. You feel me? <laughs> but the thing is, that person that I was while we were having children together, I couldn't be the best husband. I wasn't prepared to be a husband then. Okay. And the, the hourglass was shrinking for her. And I pride myself on doing this. When me and uh, her was together, Kia, that is, we were both young. There wasn't nothing still, and I say this respectfully, there's still nothing that I would never do for her. Right. But at the same time, the person that she was when I met her, it wasn't the person that she was when I left her. When I met, when I met Kia, and I say this, protecting her too. She wasn't, she didn't, she didn't know, you know, she wasn't the one to be like, I want to get married. I want this. I want that. Right. And I was more so the person that, man, my parents been together for 36 years. So I know what marriage looks like. Mm -hmm. The ups, the downs, the trials and tribulations. My dad is a preacher. Fa uh, father's a bishop. Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my mom is, only, only thing she knows is number one, church. And the only thing that she knows is my dad, right? So that's all. So I know what it, 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 a woman looks like, a submissive woman that's very strong and independent, what she stands for. Okay. And I seen Kia really evolving into a woman that her standards was like, I ain't just no chick. Baby mama. I ain't just no baby mama, right? And when she kept putting pressure on me, I was like, oh. I don't know if this is what I really want, you know what I'm saying? So, selfishly, I was like, all right, well, I'm gonna do this for, you know, that I'm trying to get myself together. And I was in Temptation Island. Yeah. A football player, young, no is not even in my vocabulary, or no is not in the vocabulary of people that's serving or doing or benefiting me or the beneficiaries. And I just find myself in this downward spiral. Yeah. And did she deserve better? I will humbly say yes, she yeah. did. Okay, so Cam admits that he was not ready to be a husband, although he was making a whole lot of children, like, you know, a husband I would think would, but he was not ready for the commitment of being a husband. And what I find so interesting about that when men say, oh, I'm, you know, I'm not ready to be a husband. Technically, that's something you can get out of. That's something, you know, marriages end all the time. About 50% of marriages do end. And so that's not a forever commitment. However, having a child with someone is a forever commitment. It is an 18-year financial commitment, and it is a forever commitment in terms of once DNA mixes together, there is no taking it apart. And unfortunately, Kia has to leave this situation with four children, and she is not going to be seen as desirable as a woman that has no children or one child. And so 
she is in fact kind of getting the short end of the stick here, not financially. And that's what a lot of people are looking at, that financially, she's going to be just fine. She has four children by Cam Newton and financially she's come up. But in terms of the rest of her life, ladies, no, this is not a come up. This is not a level up. She has now uh, created a lot of baggage with Cam Newton by having all of these children. And yes, children are a blessing. Children are a wonderful gift from God. But now she has to take these four children with her and attempt to have a new relationship, a blended family. And that's difficult. That's very difficult. As someone who works with people going through that all the time, that is a really, really difficult situation. And yes, this is something that she and Cam kind of put her in this situation. So ladies, please stay away from these baby-making men. Please stay away from the Cam Newtons of the world. Please stay away from the futures of the world, the Nick Cannons of the world, the DaBabies. Uh, stay away from these men, or I should say grown boys, who want to go out here and make a bunch of children. And please don't believe that just because these men have money, that that somehow makes it okay. That somehow makes them, you know, uh, acceptable or responsible. No, it doesn't. When you're creating a child, that's one thing. When you are the daddy or the father, if you are actually there raising the child, that's a different thing. So, I do not see this as something that's high value or something that's, oh, you know, he's so honorable because he's taking care of his children in terms of the financial piece. Children need a full-time father. They need to live in a home with their father. And so I personally believe this was irresponsible and it was reckless, but it was something that they both did. So we can't even just blame Cam because... Kia allowed this to happen. Kia had child after child after child after child by him with no uh, form of serious commitment and no marriage ring. Now, I want you to listen to this next clip. And ladies, I have heard so many men say these very words, set up their situation in this way, and here's what they're doing. They are setting you up to put up with their baby mama nonsense, to put up with the idea of they have children by a woman, they're always going to be there for her, they're going to do anything she needs him to do. If she calls, he's going to come running. Please be mindful of this setup. This is a man who is letting you know from the jump he is going to still run over there to his baby mom's house, or he's going to, quote, do anything he can for her. This is his way of getting you set up to put up with this nonsense. So take a listen to this clip and let me know what you think. Was right? I got two, right? It's not that many. And I still love them dearly, but I'm, I'm ready for them to move on because yeah. I'm moving on. You see what I'm saying? And I say that with all respect. There is nothing that either one of my baby mamas can do or say that I'd never be there for. If she called yeah. me right now, either one of them call me right now, I'm gonna be there like, listen, boom. We ain't gotta be sleeping together for me to care and right, love right. you dearly. And I think that's the thing that people got it messed up. You know what I'm saying? And anybody who I'm dealing with, they have to know to that, it, they, she's still the mother of my kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So if she says she need me to be to this extreme, if it's all respect of the situation that I'm in or is going to be in, yeah. I need to be that. Yeah. Okay, so I want you to keep in mind that Cam has just put every woman, every possible woman that he may deal with in the future, the woman that he may marry in the future, he has just put her on notice that these two women, so Lorena, Shaw is the second baby mother, and uh, Kia Proctor, that they will, to some extent, always be loved by him and that he will come a running if they need anything from him. And what's really sad about this is there are still women out there in the world that would sign up for this deal because he's Cam Newton. He's wealthy. Um, he's considered, you know, alpha, which... I'm going to disprove that in another video because I don't believe he is. 
Um, but a lot of women would sign up for this deal with him. They would say, well, I mean, he's Cam Newton. He has clout, he has fame, and he has money. But I would like to believe that most women do not want to come second or third to the two other women that he had children by. That to me is just sad. So ladies, please, please, please stay away from these baby making men. They are out here making women single mothers and those women are complicit in that because they are not using birth control or they are laying down with these men and coming up pregnant. So they are just as complicit as these men, but please stay away from these men. There are so many lessons to be learned from this interview. Please check out the full interview if you're interested in seeing the full conversation, but so many lessons in to be learned from this video and I just want to thank you for continuing to support the channel. If you like my channel and like the content here, please smash the like button. Please consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, stay open to love.